Hello, hello. I'm a bit ashamed of myself. I've got something a bit different today. Uh, I have, um, I don't know if you have these, but I have a drawer in my craft room that's just just full of stuff. It's right, right here. I'm going to show you a picture here. It doesn't even open all the way because something is stuck. And I have just pulled out, literally, this is what I pull out of this drawer most often. Um, but apart from that, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty messy. So I thought I'm going to sort it out and I thought I'm going to film it because it's going to keep me accountable. It's going to make me finish the job if I film it. And you can see just what a messy person I am. I actually, apart from, I purchased these a few weeks ago and they just got chucked in the drawer. So I'm going to empty it. The reason I'm doing it today is because I've done some sorting out on my shelves um, and other areas. And I have a few boxes that I thought might help me tidy this drawer. So until I can pull everything out, this is, I'm just going to grab everything that's in this Everything that's in this drawer. Um, honestly, it's a tip. I'll get everything out. That's my drawer. That's it. Uh, I think I need to find a wipe. I think to start with, um, ouch. I have a splinter. I've got myself a splinter. So I'm just going to have to take that out. Okay. <laughs> good start. Good start. So I'm just going to give my, my drawer a wipe. So this is, this is my crafty dresser. I don't want another splinter. Um, this is my crafty dresser. I purchased this cupboard for very, very cheap. Um, I think it might have been as little as £20. And then I got a free shelving kind of hutch, I think, um, that I stood on the top. And I had intended on painting it. My dad put a new top on it for me to make it a little bit deeper. But when I moved rooms, this is this is kind of how I had to craft. Um, because I just didn't have the room for my big desk. So I'm going to start by trying to put some of these boxes in here and see if they will fit and what is going to be the best way to have these in here. I do have these little boxes at the side here, which might actually help. Right, let's, let's start logically. I don't know how that is. I don't know what logically, um, I don't know how to do it logically. Let's put this down. Okay. <laughs> I've, this box over here is going to be a, a need to be rehomed box. I think I'm just going to keep that over there. Um, and these, believe it or not, I was actually looking for these not too long ago. This is my little paint blowy tool, which I love. I use that a lot. Little tiny, um, these are my Cory um, blending brushes. So I'm going to leave those out there for now. So here's a little story. Um, I have two crocodiles. Um, this is my new one, which has been at the back and I haven't really been able to find it. Um, it's disgraceful really, isn't it? Um, and this is my old one. Now, when I first got my crocodile, I actually had no idea how to use it. And I seriously messed up the large setting side so this one is now set to small and this one is set to large so I don't have to swap them about although in my videos you would have seen me swapping them about because I couldn't get to both of these they don't actually fit in there but they do fit in there I'll pop those in that big drawer this is my corner chomper from we are memory keepers and um it's good if you're doing something a bit thicker, but it doesn't cut a very accurate corner. So I don't want that to hand anymore. I'm going to put that in the box to rehome as I am this. 
Um, this is a fantastic tool for cutting metal and tin and even thicker wire, but it's not something I need to hand all the time. So that's going to be in my rehome box. Um, this is an awl that my dad made me from an old screwdriver. I don't use that very often, so that can be rehomed. This is my fabulous screwdriver, which I use quite a lot actually when I can find it. So I'm gonna put that in there. We've got a spare craft knife and another spare craft knife and my rotary cutter, um, which I do use a lot again when I can find it. We have another screwdriver, probably not needed too much. I'm just going to grab the things. These I use quite often. This is a fabulous tool, which I haven't used very much because I can never find it. These are all, I'm just going to put all of the things that I want to use in here. Lots of string. This is fabulous this is i bought this from a vintage shop um, i had to repair it because this bit was not attached to the bottom they were in two pieces um, but i use this to sweep my desk believe it or not that i do want brilliant all of these things that i haven't been able to get at for a while blending brush right let's have a look in here um so we've got ah uh, one of those containers some blending tools that one's probably seen better days and so has that one so i'm going to take those off and put those in there for now once i've got everything in the drawer that i need i can sort that Ooh, that's cute little bits and pieces i've made Right, what do we have here? Some old ink pads. I'm pretty sure this one. Pretty dry. I'm going to put those aside because I don't think I can salvage those. Oh, my days. My little teeny tiny frogs. Um, I got these from a vintage shop and they are doll's house frogs. How cool are they? Oh, let me put those somewhere. Um, the top of my my tripod which I used to film using many moons ago when I used to work on my dining table I had my tripod set up on my on my dining table um, so I could film from above um, that needs to actually go with my tripod we've got some random tiny screws and keys and a bobby pin right I don't know if I need those I don't know if I need that We've got a little box, all my spare sponges for my blending tool. Mm. Those ones have clearly been used. I'm going to bin those because I don't know what's on them. So we might need that. Little roll of sellotape. Just a few of those. Pliers. Um, this is to obviously get out bits of die cuts, which I do use. That's actually for my cutting machine. Um, and I don't know where the rest of these are. Right, leave that aside. This is a pretty cool tool. A little tiny hammer. Everybody needs a little hammer. I've got a little tiny pair of pinking shears. Spare scissors, which I need to check. These are are broken, so I'm going to bin those. No point keeping things that are no good. Mini staples. I'm not sure what they go in so i'm going to put those away um this was to um i used to use this to refill my um calligraphy ink bottle so i can keep that i've got another brush 
random piece of right we've got a charging cable which i'm pretty sure i need for something so i'm going to put that away um i think they are going to go in the rehome box because they definitely don't belong in this area and again another awl that my dad has made me out of a screwdriver that can go away we've got that's the top of my art glitter glue i will keep that uh, a rather unnecessary tape measure i've got a whole box of those somewhere Was for a mouse that doesn't that I don't own anymore right so those can go that's broken so that can go in the bin wire definitely has its own home but it's handy to have some to hand and those definitely need rehousing so it already looks a million times better um, I just need to organise this now. So I think things that I need to pull out all of the time definitely need to be closer to the front. Um, I think I'm going to put... You know how these things go. You'll move it. I'll move it around and it won't quite work. And I'll have to re-move it again at a later date. Um, but those... These kind of need to be, I don't know that I need anything that deep, I think. They definitely, um, a little brush. So these are actually two different types of tools. We've got some jewellery making tools here. These are the jewellery making tools. Yeah, I'm not sure this is going to work for me actually. I'm going to put this back in my drawer because I don't know where the rest of them are. I found the rest of my little cutting plates. Um, they were tucked at the side of my desk here. Uh, so I'm going to slot those down there, maybe. Yeah, I'm going to put them like that so they're easier to get out. I've now got my um, crocodiles, a few tools in there. I've got my little paper hole punches and a few spare knives in there. Um, those are all my jewellery making kind of tools and pliers. I've got a few spare blending tools, some um, of my sponges there. I think this is probably now pretty okay to put away. It's usually just these things that I pull out. Occasionally I'll need those. Um, so I've still got some of my... I have got a whole box of things that I now need to find a new home for. That's that. Very quick little video. Um, just showing you how messy I actually am and I wonder if this will stay like this for long. Um, let me pop that away. Oh, found another cutting tool. Pop that in there. Right, so there we go. And I can show you what I use my brush for now. Grab my bin, bring it to the edge of my desk and then I just sweep. Sweep everything in. Well, there you go. I was going to show you some of the ways I store some of my bits and pieces, but I think I'll do that another day because um, I've bought several of these um, from Home Bargains in the UK. They are 99 pence each and they are amazing. So what I'll do is I'll do another video and show you how I've set up my little shelving unit. And I've got some more of these to carry on sorting. So um, I'm trying to do... I'm trying to do little bits of sorting here and there in between um, other jobs so it's not such a huge task 
Thank you for joining me to clean out my messy drawer. Um, I hope it's inspired you to clean out your messy drawer, whether it be in your kitchen or in your craft room. But <laughs> thank you for joining me. I'll see you soon. Take care.